Sometimes when we're creating DVDs, all we need to be able to do is just create a single play DVD. In other words, a DVD that when it's put into the machine, it doesn't show up with any menus, it doesn't show up with any chapters, it just simply plays the DVD. This is great, especially for trade shows or weddings or places where we just simply want a DVD to loop over and over and over, or we just want to make it simple so that anybody who receives the DVD can simply put that DVD into their machine and have it play. It's a great way to work. Well, here's how we can set that up inside of DVD Architect. It's really quite simple. Let's dig in. So here's our interface. Let's click on the New button, which is Control Shift N, or we can go to File New, either one. And it gives us this opportunity to choose Single Movie. And we get, we've got it set up for our project format of, of whatever our project format is going to be. So let's, uh, let's set this up so it's for widescreen. So we're going to choose 16 by 9. Great, got that. And click on Single Movie. Click OK. It's going to ask us about our first video file when we do this, or what the video file is supposed to be when we do this. So we're just going to scroll through and go into our computer and look for a finished video here. And let's grab this one. Great. And there's our finished movie. It's just really that simple. When we click here, we'll see our, our video and see what's going on. So real quickly, we'll just we'll uh, play this through by hitting the space bar. Happy birthday, happy new year. Happy new year to everyone. There's our video. And all we need to do now is burn it and it's completely ready to go. Now there's one trick that I'd like to show you about doing this particular type of a video. Notice there's no menu chapters or there's no menu items to select chapters with but in the timeline we can still insert chapter markers and what that lets us do is as we're playing through the video we can always skip from marker to marker now again it's not really like chapters because we're not able to select chapters in a menu but it does allow us to skip back and forth or navigate through the DVD by using the chapter or scene select buttons on our DVD remote control so this is really quite handy all we need to do is come down here and identify different parts that we want to put a marker in so for instance uh, right about here we've got the exit from the airplane so we're just gonna hit the M key to insert a marker Hit OK we'll come down here to the next one and we'll uh, put in one more for the landing so hit M for marker again and there we go and that's going to allow us to skip through that uh, that menu as much as we'd like so let's preview it we're just gonna preview the disk comes in it starts to play let's hit the uh, the chapter button takes us right to where we drop that marker in hit the next one takes us right to where we hit that last marker and put that in too so there's a real quick tip or a fast tip from vast check out vast.com for more quick tips <laughs>